we are excited to announce for the first time professional 3D CAD tools are available on your Android phone or tablet. OnShape Android has officially been released and we couldn't be more thrilled to show you it. Like OnShape iOS app, the OnShape Android app is not just a viewer. You have the full suite of OnShape's professional 3D CAD tools in the palm of your hand. This means part creation with the full list of sketch and feature tools, full functioning assemblies, and soon access to your drawings as well. So let's jump into OnShape Android and take a look at its capabilities. After first logging in, you're greeted with the Documents page. You have the same filter, search, sort, copy, and share capabilities that you have in the web browser. Creating new documents can be done with the plus icon on the bottom right. So let's jump into a document and start building. It isn't until you're in a document that you start to realize the powerful capabilities of Onshape on a mobile device. To manipulate your model, you can use pinch to zoom, two finger drag to pan, and single finger drag to rotate. The toolbars and feature lists were built with touch in mind. Many of the tools in the toolbar are available in a flyout menu to save space in the interface. You can scroll through the feature list with a drag, or resize or collapse it altogether. So let's create a new part studio in the document and start sketching. I'll start by tapping the front plane and selecting the sketch icon in the toolbar. I'll use the two finger tap context menu to go normal to the sketch plane. We'll start by sketching a few circles. If I touch and hold with a single finger, it will enable the precision selector. The precision selector allows me to accurately select where to place my circles. Next I'll add two lines, one construction line from center point to center point, and another line joining the two circles. I can use the sketch mirror tool to mirror the line to the other side, and we can start adding dimensions. A simple tap on the entity is all that's required to dimension. A few taps and a few values entered in the number pad, and I have my sketch fully defined. The last step before I extrude is to offset the two circles with the offset command. Just select the circle and drag the offset to set the distance and orientation. Now that this is fully defined, let's extrude. I'll select Extrude from the drop-down menu and set my depth. I have all the same options and settings to define my extrude that you'd see in the web browser. So there's one last feature to create before we can assemble. I'll tap the top plane and use the two finger tap context menu to start my sketch and view normal to sketch plane. I'll draw in a few lines, add a few dimensions, we can extrude. I'll use the intersect option to get only the intersecting bodies of this part. The last thing I'll do is add a few fillets. So now that we've built our part, let's assemble it with the bike frame. I'll switch tabs to the assembly and insert the part. I can move parts in the assembly by tapping and using the triad manipulator. In this case, I want to mate this part to the bike using a revolute and cylindrical mate. I can again use the precision selector to grab both mate connectors and add the mates. Once everything is assembled, I can use the triad manipulator to test the motion of my assembly. So to recap, Onshape for Android gives us the full suite of Onshape's professional CAD tools on any Android phone or tablet. This means the engineer can untether from the workstation and create professional 3D models wherever they happen to be.